Attorney General Bill Barr is fed up with liberal lawlessness in American cities. The nation's top law enforcement leader reportedly suggesting that prosecutors charge violent riders with sedition. And the DOJ considered pursuing charges against Portland city officials over the endless anarchy in that city. Here's Bill Barr calling out the Democrats. The message of the Democrats appear to see, appears to be Biden or no peace. But also, it's like, you know, the only way this is going to stop is if you vote Biden. That, that becomes mob. That is ruled by the mob. And we're, we're approaching that. And big surprise, Minneapolis city council members now claim they're shocked crime is surging in the city after they voted to defund the police. Emily Campagno, your thoughts? <laughs> I will start with Seattle for a moment. I've heard pundits say that indeed it would be chilling for the feds to prosecute local officials because it would be based on simply that they didn't like the decisions that they made. There is nothing farther from that truth. Abrogation of duty, dereliction of duty, or abject failure of duty is not a preference dispute. And the mayor of Seattle, Jenny Durkin, sent out that tweet and said, this is chilling. This is once again an example of abuse of power by the Trump administration. And his using the AG, the attorney general, as his, you know, lap dog. But she said, but it's not about me. The story's not about me. It's about the president. It's about the AG. And as a Seattle resident, I want to say, it's not about them either, sister. It's mm -hmm. about us, the residents. We are the ones who, in addition to paying taxes and paying her salary, we are the ones that surrendered safety and security and, in a lot of instances, livelihoods and our law enforcement for them to make their points. So for me, I'm all about this. But as an attorney, be careful not to overcharge. I know that the DOJ is also considering civil charges, and I think in the manner of Portland, that would be a lot more effective rather than creating sort of a firestorm and a badge of honor that that mayor would likely wear. Tell it, sister. Juan Williams, what do you think about <laughs> what Bill Barr said? I just, you know, Jesse, I, I have a sense of regret or sadness because I think Bill Barr is making a lot of political statements these days. He says, oh, my goodness, uh, if Trump loses, the country goes socialist. If Trump wins, they're going, it's potential for riots. I mean, it sounds to me like he's all of a sudden a political pundit. We should get him on the five. <laughs> I don't know why. He feels, that, and, and, and by the way, you know, just, I don't ha share Emily's view about what he, you know, apparently, you know, the idea of threats against a mayor, that's a local official. The local official should be responsive to local constituents who may, if they feel that she's failed them, okay. But to go after the president's critics and the mayor there's been a critic, now the mayor in Portland, apparently, they explored whether or not there should be charges there. Uh, you know, and then to say to his own, this is the thing that gets me, even his own prosecutors within the Justice Department, he's saying, you guys have been too easy on the protesters and suggesting that they should use the charge of sedition against people involved with protest. So, you know, to me, this is the guy who got involved with the Roger Stone case, got involved with the Michael Flynn case, and now, now he's, the whole idea of equal justice under law it, it's all about partisan politics under the color of law. That's not good for America. Right. He wasn't nearly as partisan as Eric Holder, was he? And, and Bill Barr's welcome on The Five anytime. I just want to make sure he knows that. Dana, what are your thoughts on this kerfuffle? Oh. Well, I do think um, that Emily makes a good point about the difficulties of overcharging. Uh, by overcharging, remember that the government has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt and sedition might be kind of hard to prove, might be also why they haven't done that. I, I don't know whether he was makes basically just trying to make a point. But I do think that there are some good ideas. Um, our own Andy McCarthy has put them forward about using the RICO laws in order to try to see about the coordination and try to stop this in terms especially of the fundraising. And I noticed that in Minneapolis today, uh, I'm sorry, in Wisconsin today, uh, we had a reporter there that was basically showing Hillary Vaughn um, that a lot of those businesses that were rioted, um, where they were looted, that it's still not cleaned up. So I, I imagine that if you do live in that area, you would, you would be more responsive to a law and order message than you might have even been you know, before the summer started. Absolutely. Greg, wrap us up. Um, I, I really admire Barr because what he's saying shows that he understands 
what Americans think about what's going on in this country. They are, i.e., rioters, thugs, arsonists, losers, are being treated far too lightly. They, sh they, were, they get arrested and then they get immediately released. They get their bail taken care of by organizations that Kamala Harris tweets about, rapists and murderers. Damn straight, we need adults here. And he's an adult who understands the concept of disincentives. If you have disincentives, people won't engage in these practices. Like the judge who just did that million dollar bail on the, on the sorority girl, she went from Kappa Delta to Sigma Clink, uh, they, suddenly people go, oh, we're not going to riot in Lancaster because we're going to go to jail and there's going to be a, a huge bail. So yeah. I, I think that, like, the problem here, and it's a problem you see every day, people in the media and politicians are so far removed from crime. They don't think cops really need to exist except when they need their private security. And it's the same thing with arson, right? Nobody's cover, uh, covering arson because it's not in their town. Arson schmarson. So the fact is, at least Barr, who is, you know, up there, probably lives in a nice neighborhood, actually knows how people feel about this. And it ain't good.